Um, here, we need to determine mesh currents I1 and I2. Okay, so take note that, again, the definition of a, of a mesh is a loop which does not contain any other loop. So in this case, we have one loop here and another loop here we call a meshes because it does not contain any other loop. Um, contrary to this one, this is a loop. Okay, so we cannot call this a mesh because it contains two loops within it. So therefore, we do not use you know, this loop in mesh analysis. Okay, so you only consider these two loops, uh, meshes, which uh, loops or mesh loops, which does not contain any other loop that we call meshes. Okay, so how do we do that? Now, first, again, um, assign meshes, and then in in each of the meshes, we assign. Um, mesh currents. In this case, we have I1 and I2 as our mesh currents. And after which, we apply KVL. Okay? So how do we apply KVL? It's the same KVL that we used uh, previously, uh, that was introduced to you previously. So we start, uh, it doesn't matter where you start, no? but usually, you know, in order uh, to make it simpler, we always start at the left, you know, leftmost um, um, branch no, of your uh, mesh, no? so leftmost branch of your mesh. So we start here, the 12 volt source. So again, if we um, leave at the positive source, a positive terminal of your 12 volt source. So here we say at mesh one. Okay, so that is 12. Okay, so then we pass through the two ohm resistor and take note that two ohm resistor is um voltage drop nowhere uh, whereas your 12 volt source is a voltage rise so this becomes minus 2 i1 okay so minus 2 i1 no since that is a voltage drop and uh in a uh, resistor no it was said earlier no in 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 your previous lessons that current passes through from higher potential to lower potential in a resistor. So therefore, if we specify the, the polarity no, um, assumed by this uh, resistor no, because of this voltage source here, then therefore that is plus and this is minus. So it, it is the same assumption no, for all resistances that are found within this loop or within this mesh. So we also assume that this is plus and this is minus because the current flows in that direction or the mesh current flows in that direction. Then this one we have plus and this is minus. So therefore, here at the 12 ohm resistor, that is minus 12. But in this case, now we have two mesh currents that are uh, passing through you know, this uh, 12 ohm resistor. So we have I1 and I2. Okay, so uh, here, we take the difference you know, of these two mesh currents, okay? So we have I1 minus I2. Now because I2 is in opposite direction to that of your, um, that of your I1, okay? So close parenthesis minus 4I1 is equal to zero, okay? And then uh, simplify 12 minus two I, two I1, 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 minus 12 I1 plus 12 I2 minus four I1 is equal to Zero combine like terms 12 I1, 12 uh, two, minus 2 I1, minus 12 I1, and minus 4 I1 is minus 16 I1. Okay, and then we have I2 plus 12 I2 is equal to negative 12. We simply uh, transferred. 12 on the other side of the equation, making it negative. Or if you want to make it positive, then that becomes 16, this is I1, I1 minus 12 
i2 is equal to positive 12. And therefore, that is our equation 1. Okay? So, we now here, we're now here at i2. Okay, so that is at mesh 2. Okay? So in this case, no, a while ago, no, let's change colors. Let's make it blue. Okay. So previously, we said that I, uh, uh, we have our polarities here, no, for 12 ohms plus minus, no. In this case, the pagdating dito sa I2, magiging plus and minus at siya. Because we consider I2 to be flowing in that direction. No? So, mas, mas uh, primary no yung uh, I2 mo. So, here, uh, magiging plus minus din ito. Okay? So, and then here, no, notice that iba yung, iba yung ino mo. No? Yung, yung polarity na yung, ng iyong uh, 8 volt source. No? So this one here, magiging plus minus din ito. Okay? So, or you can you can get away of all the polarities here. No? All, of all the polarities here. No, pwede tanggalin yung mga polarities that. And consider all uh, what do you call this? All voltages no, across each terminals to be voltage drops. No? So, doon mo na lang i-apply sa iyong mga voltage sources ang yung plus and minus na polarity. No? Because uh, specific man yung kanilang mga polarities ng iyong uh, voltage sources. So, at mesh 2, so we have, again, we start here, no? leftmost. So, dito, it goes to happen na dito nag-start nag, uh, no? with the 12 ohm resistor. So, that becomes 12. In this case, since... Pagano ng iyong ano mo, uh, this is minus pala, minus 12, minus 12, then becomes I2 minus I1. Okay? So, pagdating mo dito sa 9 ohms mo, minus 9 I2. And this one, so we, we, we go out of the negative terminal, so that becomes minus 8. And then here we have minus. 3, I2 is equal to 0. Simplify. So that is minus 12, I2 plus 12, I1 minus 9, I2 minus 8 minus 3, I2 is equal to 0. Okay? So 12 plus uh, minus 12 minus 9 and minus 3 is minus 24. Okay? So, minus 24I2 plus 12I1 is equal to 8. Okay? So, rearranging 12I1 minus 24I2 is equal to you can still reduce this one, diba? Divided by 2. I know, divided by 4. Okay, nang bahala dyan. So, we now have our equation 2. Okay? Right. So, that's that's how easy it is not to solve uh, uh, using uh, our method to generate equations no, using mesh analysis no, without current sources.